Hey everyone, hope you're doing well this week. I've got another fun build for my Ogrim players out there. Since my last video highlighted being a boss killer, I wanted to revolve this build for being a bully towards everything else while amping my team's damage to great heights. Today, I give you my take on the blast back bulwark. Our main melee option is quite flexible here, but again, I wanted to use something that hadn't gotten its time in the spotlight, that being the Ackley's Mark 1 Power Maul. This Power Maul has tremendous strength while also being quite agile for the Ogren. It was a weapon that I've been sitting on for a while and I apologize it's taking me this long to adjust to. Now, since our job is to take out the fodder in the match, I went with damage to unarmored enemies and infested enemies as my perks, since this is going to be our main weapon for horde clearing. But to make sure that we can put our focus into that, I took confidence strike to maintain our toughness regen steadily as each chain hit we make, we gain toughness right back. And with Skullcrusher, we can get more damage out of our maul with its special action, which staggers enemies upon use. This can be used on Crushers, Bulwarks, Ragers, and Maulers, pretty much anyone who gives you trouble, to cycle easier damage output while you continue to gain toughness through Confidence Strike. Now, that's only if they're up close and personal, but for our ranged enemies and maniacs that we can see at a reasonable distance, we have our Blast Doom Mark III Grenadier Gauntlet. This weapon is incredibly fun to use, and it's extremely good at taking out Gunners, Ragers, Maniacs, and the occasional Reaper in the distance. On this, we'll want our melee damage to be our dump stat since everything else is extremely helpful to our damage flow at range. Now, I took the 5% increased range critical strike chance as well as the 10% range critical hit damage. And for my blessings, I took Glory Hunter for some toughness regen against our ranged elite kills and pinpoint target for the extra strength we get when we take our time to shoot. This will ensure that most targets die on the first or second salvo in our gauntlet. Now, for even more survivability because we are a bulwark after all, we want three toughness curios, all of which have more toughness tacked on, along with combat ability regen, toughness regen speed, some stamina regen, and some resistance to gunners. Again, like I usually say in all my other videos, experiment with what you may need, but I do highly recommend taking the extra toughness and the combat ability regen for your curios, as they will keep you healthy and your team happy. With that aside, let's break down my talent tree. I wanted to create a bulwark for the exact opposite of my last build. This time, focusing on crowd control and being a specialist and elite hunter. Basically, anyone who dares bully my team has to go through me first. That being said, I'll start off with our combat ability, Loyal Protector. This ability lets us taunt enemies for 15 seconds, making them focus all of their attention onto us. And with big lungs, we can push our radius up a bit so we can stagger bigger hordes, feeding Skull Crusher on our Power Maul. And my favorite modifier for this build has to be the combat ability, Valuable Distraction. This modifier perfectly captures exactly what our role is on the team. As we taunt, we will not only take aggro for the horde, but now they all take 25% more base damage from all sources. This means elites, specials, and even monstrosities can be affected by this. Our main job is to take control for our team and give everyone a big damage buff when it gets a bit crazy, which can obviously happen quite easily in the higher difficulties. For any immediate target, we can use our big friendly rock. This is awesome for taking out any mutants rushing to our team, or even taking a sniper out in the distance. Its straighter arc is also way more forgiving than the gauntlet, so use these freely when you want, as they'll regenerate every 45 seconds, and you get up to 4 of them. Since we're going to be a hub for toughness anyway, I want to stay close for my aura. This gives everyone in coherency 25% more toughness replenishment. But we have so many ways to earn toughness with this build. Again, constantly regenerating toughness for the entire squad, as long as they're in range. Now to understand why I took crit chance on our ranged weapon, it's to feed our keystone ability burst limiter override. Now I'm sure if some of you saw my last ogre video, you'll understand what this does, but if you didn't, with this we have a small chance to not use our grenade in our gauntlet. And with good shooting, we can guarantee a critical hit so long as our shot actually hits. And to keep our chances of triggering a lucky bullet, we will also want more burst limiter overrides. This bumps it up to 12%, which should also technically be bumped up to around 17% with our gauntlet perks. That's nearly a 1 in 6 chance to not use a shot whenever you shoot, and to score a guaranteed critical hit on your target. With maximum firepower, our final keystone is complete, as this will give us 200% ability cooldown reduction per lucky bullet triggered. Again, only really relying on this to take out immediate threats, such as disablers in the crowd or ranged specialists in the distance. That being said, we can also have some fun with our gauntlet when it comes to breaking up the horde a bit while our combat ability is on cooldown. You see, with Big Boom, we can increase our explosion radius by 27.5% 
This ensures that big crowds will be dispersed and staggered while you shoot into them. Even missing a shot near any specials or elites will cause some minor damage, but it will also stun them for a couple seconds, buying you or your teammates some time. If you can shoot or hit up to 5 enemies, we can safely rely on Pacemaker to give us a nice reload speed boost for 5 seconds. This can be extremely helpful if you haven't reloaded just before the horde pushes in. Simply charge up your maul and send a heavy hit in. This should proc immediately and you can swap to your gauntlet for a quick reload. But if you want to just keep swinging, hard knocks will help you stack up any of your damage. The way this works is every light swing generates damage that stacks towards your next heavy hit. So while you're fighting a horde, you can swing a mix of flurries in and finish out with a heavy if you see a rager in the mix. This can stack only up to 25 times and it only lasts for 10 seconds, but upon use, all those stacks go away. And it can be refreshed, of course, by hitting another enemy. This ability pairs so well with the maul, I usually prefer to just keep swinging big crowds since you see the damage flow easily with Skullcrusher. And to feed into the damage after using Hard Knocks, I took Furious. This means each enemy hit with a heavy melee attack also stacks on 2.5% more damage onto our next melee hit. Heavy chain hits here help a ton since the mole has two heavy chain combos that both sweep in wide arcs. This just decimates large hordes by amping more damage into our hits, not to mention the 25% damage boost if they're hit by our taunt, as well as the staggering effect it does feeding Skull Crusher once again. And to make sure that we can stand up against any other Ogren types, we want Heavyweight. This just supplies us with 30% more damage towards them, as well as 30% damage resistance against them. But with Lynchpin, we can up our own toughness replenishment by 50%, ensuring that we can continue fighting in any fight as long as our team is around us. This, mixed with our aura, is going to keep everyone nice and healthy. Speaking of nice and healthy, mobile emplacement allows us to take even less damage whenever we're taking our time lining up our shot with a gauntlet. We want this especially when the disabler threat is pushing through the horde so we can kill them quickly, and damage reduction is a huge help with this build. And with the best defense, we can easily replenish even more toughness whenever we're chaining heavy hits in, with 20% replenishment each time we hit multiple enemies with a single hit. Now keep in mind, with Confidence Strike on our Maul, this also gives us a bit more than 20%, and it allows us to save a point on our tree. Chained hits with the Maul are incredibly easy to score. To help us with staggering enemies, we will want more impact, so Slam will help us out a ton here. Keep in mind that impact leads to staggering enemies. If an enemy sends an endless barrage of hits on you, then guard up until you can create some distance, and then charge up a heavy hit to stagger them. Again, feeding Skull Crusher on our Maul. And lastly, since we're going to be relying on coherency a ton with this build, why not make our radius a bit larger with Towering Presence? This creates a much larger circle around us to close out any gaps in our chain. And since our teammates are the links in that chain, we can easily regain toughness and give everyone enough damage with our combat ability, keeping everyone alive while they output tons of damage. Summing up our buffs in the talent tree, we can also gain some very good boosts along the way. Those include a boost to our health, our range damage, our reload speed, suppression, toughness, and you guessed it, toughness damage reduction. To me, this build has been a huge anchor in all of my Orc Damnation missions, especially when I get sick and tired of playing a Shield Ogren. But it's also been incredibly fun to use in just about every other difficulty the game has to offer, since its only downside is really monstrosity damage, which really isn't that bad, and the occasional range fight against snipers way out in the distance. Sometimes the gauntlet does fall short past 40-ish meters, and you may need to rely on your arc from your rock to do some more damage where you can, when you can. But most of the time, you can just focus on horde clearing so others can push out more damage to elites and gunners. If the horde is in their face, you can use Loyal Protector and delete the horde from existence quick and easy. This lets your team push out more of a focus on specials and elites while you clean up and defend them. And that's it. That's the Blastback Bulwark. I spent about a month putting this one together, and I knew I had something cool for players who are just sick of playing Rippers, Stubbers, and even Shields all the time. At least, I was. Anyways, I'm gonna go protect the little ones once again, but until next time, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care of yourself, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the match.
feeding. Shouting needs meds. You're wounded. Bring it down. Bomber in ammo. Andy, that. Ammo.
Impressive work, Psyker! Have care not to offend 